how we are trying to manipulate the world, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, and we have to see for years to come uh, if things are working as we think that they are. So after okay, this educational speech, uh, I want to celebrate Purim with, with, with all the family and to raise a glass. So uh, uh, for those of you, okay, I'll take my glass. Don't mind. And uh, I'll take the glass, and you can do it in your own time, and just say, uh, uh, Welcome to everybody. Have a, a fantastic uh, uh, so evening, some kind of noon, and enjoy our uh, hospitality. And uh, again, uh, thank you for all of you that are here, especially the kids that really put the effort on putting their custom. And this is the real time to transfer the shakit to
Israel Bartal, who is uh, uh, really coming, is the newcomer to our group on, can I say in short, literature, Galicia, history. History first. History first. Some, some others would say literature first, but that's fine. Next time. And uh, Yossi Hayu. After this Yiddish, okay, uh, uh, from uh, the group of visualization, in short, and, uh, and as you can see, part of what we are doing here is really teaming up groups and uh, I would say uh, and Helen. So please, back to you. Thank you. Talent or lack thereof. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so I have a, uh, now we've regaled you with some kindergarten songs. I have some adult songs. In my, in my opinion, uh, Purim is the most adult of all Jewish holidays. It's really unfit for children. Um, so it's, uh, it's good once in a while to try and connect to that, to that spirit. Um, so I don't, I don't really want to try and educate this group because well You're a very well educated group, but it, it, is, it is often surprising just how ignorant and stupid well educated people can be. Um, but yes, it's a well known phenomenon. Um, so, uh, but I've chosen a, a few new, a few new Purim songs here. And uh, what I'd like to do, I'm going to uh, take the liberty of changing the order of the songs that are on your page. I want to start with the second song, which I want to dedicate to all of the bitter academics who are in the Institute for Advanced Studies this year. Because, that's right, because in fact, there is a well-known, well-documented phenomenon that no matter how many honors you receive and how much you uh, are given honor and, and uh, grants and prestigious positions, there is always somebody who's gotten something you haven't, and that is so irritating. There are some people, for example, who are at the Institute for Advanced Studies year after year on the third floor. They came here once, and they just stayed. So like our group, for example, is also planning on staying. And if for, for some reason, Evicted from here, we will be very bitter about it. In fact, we're already nursing our bitterness now. So I want to I want to honor the bitterness of disgruntled, spoiled rat academics by sharing with you this second song, which is a song about somebody who really was was close to the top of the pyramid, a man named Haman. Now, so. Now, okay, I'm going to assume that many of you are capable of reading Hebrew, being the smarty pants people that you are. So, if you could possibly follow along in the second song, the chorus of this song is basically in English, none, none of this matters. None of this matters because as long as I can see Mordecai and the kind of honor he's receiving, like it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't register that I am so close to the king, that I'm so wealthy, I'm so rich, I'm so respected, I have everything. So this is how it goes. Okay, so um, the chorus goes like this, and I'll sing it, and you sing after me. The calls there, calls there, ain't that no shove.
Okay, guys. Ready? First verse. There's no microphone, friends. So this is just my natural, unamplified voice competing with all of you losers. And hey!